What's going on? Why? I went to look for sponsorship for the men's conference. Mm -hmm. And somebody just looked at me and told me, but you know, you, you speak against uh, LGBTQ. You know, my company now, I cannot justify even giving you a shilling. Robert, let, yes, sir. let's bring it personal now. Right. What if your lovely little daughter came to you and said, Daddy, I'm gay. First, I'll take a 40-day fast. Did you listen to the hot breakfast this morning? Here's what you missed. Great debate we're about to have, folks, because this has been on the lips of everybody since the Supreme Court ruled over the weekend about LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. And there's a big row. The church has come out. It's in up in arms. And we wanted to just, you know, let's talk a bit about it because uh, it's a subject that's not going to go away anytime soon. <laughs> Pastor Wilson Musao is in the house. Thanks so much for joining us. And RB, the man himself, Robert, Robert Raleigh. Raleigh. Gentlemen, welcome to Hot 96. Thank you for having us. I, you know, I, and I think I've told you this story off air. Mm. I had neighbors who are from the community, and they tried really hard. I was very young and very handsome. Forget how handsome I am now. <laughs> I was what we call eye candy in the <laughs> I'm sorry. When was that? You like, know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> in my 20s, like 27, 28. And these guys, every day, like if you pass by their house because they're good cooks and everything, you know men like eating. <laughs> uh, they have beers and everything. So they just make you their friend, and they're very friendly. So eventually they start telling you, you should try Like I say, hey, now nah, to go and hang out with some women. We see how the weekend will be like, hey, but there are women here. So one guy's got long hair, is wearing pink shorts and everything. And I can understand how someone would be convinced to try. Maybe you're under the influence. Maybe you're feeling some type of way about yourself, you know. Because I think also if you're feeling some type of way about yourself, not feeling loved or appreciated, yeah. it's easy for someone to spot this and rope you in. Yeah. And once now, I think you start, you keep going on with it. But if you want to say that it's justifiable that people are born like this, are there, are, is there even one animal you've ever seen that was born gay? Because we are all animals. <laughs> hey, just friendly, like a lion. Mufasa is in the jungle there just messing around with other lions. No. <laughs> and it's true. There's a Leviticus chapter something that talks about no man shall. I, I mean, how many of those are there in the Bible? Leviticus 18.22. Okay. What is it You say? shall not lay down with mankind as with a woman. Mm -hmm. You can't. It's just an abomination. That's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's only it's only been quoted there. I'm at the emphasize Bro, also. it's all over the Bible. Ah, also. and you believe yeah. that, Robert? You say this is a, is a travesty. I mean, this is not man lying with a man. I mean, what are you doing in the exit hole mm -hmm. that is created to remove that? So, what are we going to look for there? Some things are so obvious. Mm, the cameraman wants to fall down. <laughs> <laughs> but has anyone ever, have you ever spoken to one of the, the people from the community to understand what it is they find uh, desirable in, that, in the exits? Well, personally, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, very many young men call me. Yeah. Uh, and some say, I didn't enter into it willingly, mm. but now I don't want to get out. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, very many young men. Uh, my last men's conference, mm -hmm. a gentleman stood and said the same thing. He says, guys, get, help me get out. But I'm enjoying it so much I can't get out. But you guys have to help me. It's like taking drugs. When you're in the thick of it, there's an excitement. Mm -hmm. But once you go home and rest, you start feeling filthy. You start feeling empty. Mm -hmm. And then something deeper is calling you. And that is why addictions pull you to do it so much so that you forget about it. You don't want to have a time to think sanely. So what do they do? Mm -hmm. You go do your thing, you go drink. Wake up, go do it again. To run away from the reality. Mm. And we, we, we have to be very honest. It is wrong. Yeah. But mm. the movement is so strong mm. that what you are seeing now is not a manifestation of what started happening last week. It has been a ground movement for at least 15, 20 years. Yeah. But Pastor Musa, also, mm. let's not go, I mean, not just 20 years, right. homosexuality has been around since the dawn of mankind. Mm. Right. Right? It's been around. Okay. Yeah. So why now? Why the uproar now? I think there's a bigger agenda than what we are saying. Because some of these guys, um, they, they, they don't just become gays. There is a push. Now, we also see in, society, in, uh, in our today's, um, uh, in our times, that uh, money has become a scarce thing. Mm -hmm. And some of, there's actually, I'm reminded of, uh, I had just one experience with one guy. Huh? Was, experience. Was, well, yeah, <laughs> no, Defi no. Define experience. Uh, this, one this, guy. this is radio. Yeah, be careful. Burale almost moved his chair a bit. No, you asked me earlier on whether yeah. I have yes. ever interacted with one of these, with some of these right. guys. Yeah. And I'm reminded of um, some guy who was a member in our church, but he left, um, you know, af afterwards. Mm -hmm. So he was trying to commit suicide. So I'm called uh, to go and rescue 
the guy and he says that the only guy he can speak to is Pastor Wilson. Okay. So when I went when I went there, um, I realized that the guy was actually struggling with so much. So he gave me excuses to do with uh, rent was a problem. The guy was married, but he was not able to provide for his family. And then I asked him, what is, um, you know, and, and what are you doing up here? He said that my life is just messed up. And then now he started confessing. And he said, these are the things that I'm experiencing. And one of them was homosexuality. And I asked him, how did you get yourself into this? He said that because I lack money, I needed money, and somebody was providing. And he asked me if he can use my behind so he can give me money. So this is how I sustain my family. Kenya Constitution, <coughs> it says what about the homosexual? It says it's illegal. In it's Kenya. illegal. Mm. The act, right? All right. Mm. But people can live together, can... We start on the foundation of the Bible that it is wrong. It is an abomination. Mm. When a man or a woman lay with one of their own, it's an abomination. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Mm. You understand? But also the problem is, if you realize, there is this force. They are all over trying to force themselves on us, you understand? Mm. Uh, you go on social media, we are seeing uh, uh, influencers dressing like women. It's a subtle message. I was watching a video, uh, I think, the day before yesterday, mm. this Ugandan uh, guy called Chameleon mm -hmm. and his brother grinding each other You're publicly. Joking. This one Chameleon we know? Absolutely. Dr. Jose? Yes, grinding each other publicly. And they started the concert by kissing each other. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. blood brother. Mm. During the break, I'll show you the video. Mm. And, and, uh, and the I, grinding I, I, is yes. young people who look at them as icons you see it's a subtle message that, that okay. if they're doing it then we can do it mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. because when you're elevated into a place of influence then it's not just what you say that matters even what you do can make people accept that which is unacceptable mm -hmm. and money has been poured and that's the truth even here in kenya money has been poured yeah. uh, you go on social media these people are being given some retainers through some NGOs mm. to dress like women so that it sends a subtle message. If a 12-year-old sees a man dressed like a woman on social media, by the time he is 14, the message is already in him that this is okay. Mm. At 15, you will not tell him not to wear pink underwear. Mm. And that's a problem. And high heels. Mm. Yeah, mm. and that's mm. a problem. And we're blaming absent fathers. I think that is too old now. Mm. We have to move away from that. Mm. There is a bigger picture. Even people from... Uh, complete homes are struggling with it because of messaging. They've taken the mountains. They've gone to schools, they've gone to colleges, they've gone to the media, they've gone to social media. Turn left, right and center, go to TikTok, you're seeing boys talking, what for? Yeah, and then the problem is we're scared. And let me tell you, there's a time I spoke about it and um, these guys fight back, Jeff. Yeah. They fight back. Yeah. They fought me on Twitter, not on what I said. They try to attack attack my character mm. so that my message can be rejected. So they have a way of fighting back. If you mix a black with a white, that kid will be part black. If you mix a black with an Asian, part black. You mix yes. with an Indian. So the dominant race is black, black, basically. So the only way that you can kind of bring it down or water down the black race is to encourage men and other men to mess around with each other. Mm. That way, we focus on other things <clears throat> and the forces that, you know, try to, you know, oppress us or, you know, take our resources, continue doing what they're doing. Because if we don't have another generation of kids to open their eyes and see what's happening, Absolutely. we'll but, be messed up. Are you saying most uh, homosexuals are black or what are you saying? No, it's really no, no. being pushed in the... To the black community. To the black Numbers community. will be reduced. <clears throat> of, of spring. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Numbers yeah. carry power. Numbers carry power. Uh, and who are the poor, but, but, but which are the you, poorer, but, poorest but, but, race? Huh? When you look around the world, who are the, uh, the, the, uh, the populations that are degenerating or that aren't producing? It's the West, right? Mm. And Europe, not, yeah, Asia. Because of lifestyle. They're busy. But here in Africa, we are so strong, we can work and produce. We can work and produce. So the idea is, since we are keeping them too busy and they're still producing, let's now bring some crazy things that will reduce their level of production so that we don't have people in if we go on like this with this agenda mm. in another 10 15 years honestly our numbers will be reduced because what is happening people are dying young now mm. i mean in in africa now if you reach the age of 60 you must do a thanksgiving service mm. <laughs> <laughs> so what are they doing <laughs> three away you know what are three they doing to go. Uh, <laughs> Poverty levels, they're bringing all these diseases to kill people. Yeah. And then for every two that die, ten will not be produced because of these things. Even when you look at uh, these black American movies now and, and TV sitcoms, the Bill Cosby show propagated a pure, full black family. And then this thing came called Empire. 
empire was to come and dilute the value system of the Bill Cosby show, the Hoxtables. So then if you realize even the gay characters in these sitcoms and the movies are not villains. The gay characters mm. are loved. So the young people say, these gay people are good. Mm. When you go to the gay uh, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, she gives, uh, she's starting schools and she's uh, uh, paying loans for people. So young girls are saying, all oh, these lesbians are good. And I'm not judging the individual. We are talking about the act. Because every individual who is still alive is a candidate of salvation and God's grace. Mm -hmm. But the act is where the problem is. But, and the worrying thing is, they have now captured, I go to schools, they have captured people below the age of 18. Now, young people can argue with you and tell you, Jeff, what are you talking about? Mm. Why are you judging? You know, times have changed. How would a 16, 15 year old have that? It's because it has been inculcated in them subtly, in a very subtle way, from the age of 13. Mm -hmm. So at 16, 15, they can stand up and look at you and give you an argument. And they try to justify it. A young girl was caught uh, by the mother. And what she told the mother? At least I will not come pregnant. That is justifying. Mm. The girl is 17. Saying that uh, they have freedom for association, that means that we can start a conversation. And this can eventually lead to what, what, what we are fighting against being legalized. That's why they are in the streets. Mm. Yeah, because now somebody has given them the freedom now to fight for this right. thing. Yes. Would well, you think that maybe now that, you know, change of the constitution was a subtle way to, because now, you know, once they have the right to associate, mm -hmm. then you can't, by law, tell them now you can't associate because that you are gay. So it says as a Kenyan, I'm free to do whatever I want to do. Whatever yeah. I want and to it do. starts with yeah. right of association. Every time you register a company or you register an association, there's an agenda. You have to, there's, there's an expected end. You have to grow something. Mm. If you open a restaurant, you'll be advertising for people to come in and eat at your restaurant. Mm. So they will not just say, we're associating among ourselves. They will now go to the highways and the byways and try and get more people to come into it. Mm. So the registration of such associations will bring growth because they have an agenda. Yes. So it's not that we are 50, so we'll remain as 50 and associate at 50. The 50 will turn to 100, and the 100 will be to 200. And by the time we realize, they will say, we also need a gay representative in parliament. Mm -hmm. So there's Isn't special it? needs, yeah. uh, women rep, and then... Uh, Absolutely. This is the beginning and, and, of a and, bigger and thing. And for me... Yeah. And, and is the beginning of a bigger thing. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a judge, but the three who just, in their presence of mind, the judges, who said it is okay, and, and these are fathers, these are mothers, these are uncles, these are aunties. The question is, you are signing onto something, maybe because it has not hit your home. Mm. The date, and when you are taken and given power to rise to the highest level of leadership, that your signature can turn the tide of a country to whom much is given, much is expected. So before you sign these things, ask yourself, 20 years after I am gone, what will my, leg my legacy be? And those judges who okayed it, 50 years after they are gone, their families will, look, will be told, your father, your mother was involved in legalizing this thing that has brought anarchy and curses upon our country. Would you say there's outside pressure uh, that, that, uh, that's involved in some of these things? I, I think 100%. Hmm? I, I, th I think there's a lot of outside pressure. So, so, gentlemen, what happens now? The Supreme Court has ruled. That's the penultimate court in Kenya. And you cannot uh, appeal. Correct. So I think what needs to happen is that the people who have the right voices go out there and speak. Just like we'll go and say, do not steal. So we, our voices must be heard. Mentors must go, speak to these young men, speak to these young ladies. You have been told, yes, not everything that has been allowed is good. Mm. We have a men's conference on Saturday. We'll tell them, listen, guys, you can't go this direction mm. as a man. You have to go and and produce mm. you know you have to get a child mm. you understand what i'm saying yeah, yeah. and you don't get a child by laying down with another man so it is the voices of reason that must be heard yeah. because as they have been given the permission to associate we should also be allowed to stand on the mountaintop and speak what we think is the right thing to speak absolutely and and the problem is when we speak we are told we are discriminating mm -hmm. against who you want to discuss your things. You have even gone to court. Then if we speak against it, you say we are discriminating. We will speak. We will be attacked. We will be insulted. They will come at us. But to be honest, we want to die empty. That the day we die, we will say we did what we could. Mm -hmm. If we keep quiet, these guys will thrive. Yeah. And now we are seeing young boys banging each other like rabbits. <laughs> Why? Because people are quiet. And we will talk about it. And I'm telling you, it's a fight that will cause blood, sweat, and tears. But guess what, Jeff and Nick? 
we have to stand up. Yeah. Somebody must, must bleed for deliverance to happen. Mm. Mm. But the problem is that even when you go to schools now, it is a major problem. You go to boys' schools, uh, homosexuality is a problem. When you go to girls' schools, lesbianism is an issue. But now they have camouflaged. Like now, if you go to girls' schools, um, they don't, you know, gone are the days where they have to dress like boys to be known as lesbian. Yeah. They are now making two lines on the eyebrows to communicate with other lesbians. Mm. So they have gone into another level. Go on social media. When I see these young so called influencers wearing women's clothes, it's a subtle message. And some of them, are on a retainer of up to $10,000 a month. Yes, sir. Whoa. You are waking up at four to work here. <laughs> yes. Somebody is just told, put makeup, dress like a woman, and have a photo shoot. And end of the month is $10,000. Uh, 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 and they're uh, after uh, our young boys. Nicholas, are you listening? <laughs> no, Nicholas cannot be paid, even if he dresses like a woman. <laughs> I mean, the strangest looking woman on the planet. <laughs> Uh, or maybe I should do it then, guys. I'm like, no, if this is how the community looks like, yeah. forget, <laughs> we'll have, we'll forget about it. You know, the church uh, in England is the other day they say they are okaying uh, gay Same marriages. Sex marriages. Yes. yes. And those are pro here. I mean, uh, so our allegiance is to the Church of England, or uh, how, 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 how will it work? Because I think now we might just have to have splint, splinter groups from we have our, to, the, our allegiance is not to the Church of England. Um, you know, the cha every, every pastor must be able to have truth themselves mm -hmm. you must know what is right so as 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 kenyans and um, also africans we must declare our stand because you see uh the plan is this thing is being pushed from the west so we have to know that there's a bigger agenda than what we are seeing so these guys legalizing this thing is it has nothing to do with uh, just legalizing it is the bigger agenda that which they are trying to to push and remember one of the things that um i've also that, that is coming to mind Remember that we have uh, people that want to discredit the, the existence of God. Mm. You get. Mm. So a number of times people have, you know, we've had so many discussions whether God really exists or not. So by these guys pushing these kind of moves, you know, and when, when, they, get, when they get their way, eventually they will say that this, there's no God. So we have to be very careful and have a stand as a church in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Robert, let, yes, sir. let's bring it personal now. Right. What if your lovely little daughter came to you and said, Daddy, I'm gay. First, I'll take a 40-day fast. <laughs> 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 that, now, let me tell you. I will tell God. Eh? Let me remove my heart. Mm. The pastor's heart. Let me be a typical African man. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> and, and, but, but, but I've also taken time as a parent, as she was growing up, to talk to her about these things. And that brings a very important point. The African parent largely does not want to discuss such things with their children. Right. We only want to discuss work hard in school. You've got to be a lawyer. You've got to be a doctor. You've got to be a president. Yeah. But if you don't discuss this with your children, somebody else is discussing it with them, and that's the social media platform, the digital space. Yes. So you raise your child saying, you know what? You will experience this. You will have even people, maybe when you go to school, you will see queer people. But listen, when you see this, run away. If you don't talk, somebody else will talk to them and present a better case. Because every time you're silent, whatever other case is presented, however badly it is, it is a better case. Yeah, somebody said that uh, things don't go wrong. They start wrong. So we have to take time to teach our young ones what is right. What, you know, what are the good morals? Uh, what is expected of us? So that at least we can be able to, um, uh, by the time they are growing, they know what exactly to choose for themselves. Mm. Yeah. So I think the challenge is um, our upbringing. Uh, we must take care of our children when they are young and tell them what is right. Tell me something, guys. It, and, and we're not experts here or scientists or biologists. <laughs> But are, are people born gay? No. No. Hmm? No. Mm -mm. You can, mm. And when you go back again to the Bible, he created male and female. You understand? Mm. And in Jeremiah chapter number one, before you were born, I knew you, before you were birthed, I consecrated you, I made you a prophet to the nations. God will not go against his word to propagate anything else. And we have been created. And, and a man was lonely and he was put to sleep, the Bible says, and God removed the rib. And that's how a woman came his companion, his helpmate. And, and, and I, know, I know this sounds cliche, it's Adam and Eve. That is the order of God. Mm. And that's why he says when a man lays with a man or a woman lays with a woman, it's an abomination. In fact, God turns the eye, the face away from that person. And listen, again, I want to say this because everybody is a candidate for grace. Everybody. Mm. Even the vilest offender, you know, is a candidate for grace. But we're just calling the act as it is. 
there are some lesbians, gay, who have repented and come to Christ. You understand? So we are not saying now, burn in hell. You are still alive. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. God still wants you back into the fold. But now the act, we have to call it as it is. And for me, the Supreme Court has been a big letdown. But the pressure has been crazy. But also, the Bible says, while we were asleep, the enemy did what? Came, in and Came and planted tears. tears. We were just asleep. Now, I think we need to tone down now some excited motivational preaching. Mm. Oh, say yes. Oh, say yes. <laughs> you didn't hear this side. Yourself. Say yes. <laughs> did I get that side? Say yes. <laughs> Let's tone that down yeah. because the enemy is coming at mm -hmm. us. And now let's call it as it is. Pastor Wilson, you agree? Yes, I do. Oh, you better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. Because what, what we are seeing is that um, men are turning the truth to become a lie. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, uh, if you allow me, the book of Romans, chapter number, um, chapter number 1, verses number 25 downwards, says that they traded the truth about God for a lie. So they worshipped and served the things God created instead of the creator himself. Then say that, who is worthy of eternal praise? And then verse 26 says that, that is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires. Even women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulged in sex with each other. 27. And men, instead of having no more sexual relations with women, burned with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men. And as a result of this sin, uh, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserved. So, so you see, we are seeing men turning uh, the truth to become lies. But there's no way you can ever use the exit door as an entry point. Mm -hmm. Now, besides yeah. church, because uh, church is also a great place to start, mm -hmm. uh, what else do you think, just throw it out there, that, that we can do, media, family, everything, to try and get kids to get back to the straight and narrow? I, th I think we, it's, it's a three-pronged attack. Mm -hmm. Government, family, church. And the church. Media plays a major role. Mm. And I've seen media stations inviting boys dressed like women. Uh, what, are you, what are you telling us? The media, the hunger, and I'm not, I know I'm in a media house, but sometimes you have to say it as it is. Say it as it is. The media, you have a hunger for trending. Yeah. You have put money ahead of the moral fabric. Mm. That is why you will not invite somebody who will talk about purpose. But you'd rather invite a boy dressed like a girl because it will trend. Your social media platforms will have people will be talking, there'll be controversy. Mm. So you media also have to play a major role in making sure the people you give your space are speaking the right sounds mm. out there. Because now, I mean, you, media, within a click of a button, channel, whatever, and the whole world is watching you. Mm. And I'm, I'm happy that uh, other members of parliament, I think Kaluma, is it Kaluma? Kaluma, Kaluma, Kaluma has, has, has stood strong. And I do hope others will support. And I'm not saying we go to town and the streets and start beating them and no violence, no. Because love conquers all. You will win them back to Christ. Mm. Not by insulting them, yeah. but by showing them the way. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. But we also have to call it as it is. Then the family unit, please. Fathers, mothers, but there's also so much immorality. Some people are married, but they are gay. Mm -hmm. You understand? Then you see people say, they have gone to Naivasha for the rally, uh, banging each other on bonnets. And your kids are watching that. So what do you expect them to do? You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then now, um, mentors, like we have the men's conference this Saturday. Come. Hey, but what time is you it? You people need to support us. Where is it? In what, in what at time? All Saints Cathedral, at the auditorium, at 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. Entrance is absolutely free we're expecting 2,000 men Ooh. yeah just come and let's talk not not uh, filling these concerts of chameleon and his brother bumping and grinding each other i mean what nonsense is that guys Tubonge. Chameleon Tubonge. Mm. it means and i said this <laughs> as they were doing that i know they were in pain maybe they even had to take some alcohol maybe they pay masters were watching paul says he's the prince of peace mm. But we forget that he's the consuming fire. Right. The Bible says he is slow to anger, but it does not say he does not get angry. Mm -hmm. There is a place we will get to that the wrath of God will be stayed on us, that there'll be calamity upon calamity, that even as the church, we do not stand up, even as government, we do not stand up, even as the judiciary, 
we do not stand up. I am telling you the wrath of God will come down so heavy that we will be looking for a place to hide. But David says, even if you go down in hell, you cannot hide from God. We pray and sadly, Jeff and Nick, we are getting to a place that the wrath of God is about to reach that tipping point. May God have mercy on us. Amma, that's why it's so hot like this in, 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 <laughs> in Kenya of late. May God. And, and, and also for government, yeah. members of parliament, this now will prove who is who. You understand? Um, who will stand up and speak? Let's see who will stand up and speak. Mm. But also media. Please, I beg you guys. Why are you inviting these people uh, to advance this thing? Uh, here we I see now even corporates are giving... I mean, girls know how to be girls they don't need help from boys on how to be a girl yeah I so we're even seeing yesterday. yeah we're even seeing um corporates giving jobs to boys dressed like wom women to influence to promote their products i mean what's going on what's going on why i went to look for sponsorship for the men's conference mm -hmm. and somebody just looked at me and told me but you know you, you speak against uh, lgbtq you know my company now i cannot justify even giving you a shilling because we know your language you understand what mm -hmm. i'm saying 